like you said, the dust kind of settles uh, where we can do a lot more international traveling a lot easier. I don't, I, I personally think we're not ret- ever going to return back to the way that we were before where people are going to really need you or want you to be uh, present always here. Like you said, like coming over to their house or, or uh, doing uh, the coffee shop meetings and so on. I think that there's a, um, a retraining that has kind of occurred in which people are much more comfortable now with doing those video conference calls, uh, sending stuff through the email and it's more convenient. They've found it's more convenient and they actually are almost, I think going to be demanding that that stays similar in a lot of respect. And so I think it really has liberated us as, uh, as business people in a sense where these meetings, yeah, we don't have to be driving across town anymore for it. And so it opens up a lot. And the other thing that's really interesting too is at this particular point in time, we're seeing some of these islands around the world and different locations really opening up this uh, whole concept of remote working. And so Hawaii, just uh, on the weekend I was hearing, they have opened up their borders to Canadians. And uh, so they're not forcing them to quarantine where they were before. If you came to the island, you had to quarantine for 14 days there, uh, as long as you have a clean test coming in. And I think they're administering a test there as well, probably a rapid test. Uh, you can you know, uh, go about your, your vacation or your, your touring around the island and stuff, and they're selling it as a work from Hawaii. Uh, so why have your home office in Edmonton? Why not do it uh, in Hawaii? And I know Bermuda is doing that. The Maldives just uh, uh, a few weeks ago did a unlimited uh, vacation kind of package in which uh, you can come and stay there and you get all these different perks for a whole year. Um, but you can come and go is the idea. Kind Un- of unlimited until your bank account is runs out. Kind <laughs> of yeah, that's right. Yeah. Yeah. Some of these places are going to be more expensive than others for sure. But it's really interesting where there's a, a bit of a tourism uh, movement afoot in regards to uh, really targeting us as small, small business owners um, and business professionals and so on who can be doing their work remotely. They don't have to be physically here in Edmonton or where whatever city that they're from.